Welcome back, this is Yamba Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Ashwood Asylum. It's suicidal. My throat hurts. I'm probably gonna take a break during this episode to go grab some water, because my water bottle is empty, dude. It's terrible. It's horrible. Whatever will I do? The right thing is to pause it and go grab some water, but it's not quite at the point yet where I should. Well, no, it's at the point where I should. It's just not at the point yet where I feel motivated enough to actually go do it. There are two different things. What I want is I want to tap in my room, so I just don't have to get up. And honestly, honestly, it's not it's not a laziness thing. Because I've, I've, since I've been watching water, I have been up. I just forget to take my water bottle and, like, get water. So it's more of just a hydration thing, you know? Just, just making sure that I stay hydrated. I think that everybody should have a... Uh, a water tap, you know, on their wall, everywhere they are all the time, at, at every point in their life. You're in your car, it doesn't matter, you've got a portable water tap. It's a god-given right. It's magic, okay? And we just, uh, you can make sure you stay hydrated. I mean, you know what, once we have these, 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 uh, magical, you know, water taps, we can get rid of every other drink in existence. All you need is water. And nobody will ever, you know, get drunk ever again. Uh, I'm changing my perspective on it. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. What's this say? Ikms. I KMS you. I, I KMS you. USMKI? I don't know. Is I KMS you like some kind of thing? I kill myself, you? I don't know. What's I KMS you stand for? These are the questions that we'll never know the answers to. What's that say? KMHC 35? This is new lore. What the heck, dude? I hear there's other kinds of uh, paranormal apparitions. Uh, in this map, spending their time as they do, doing things that I don't appreciate in the slightest. Kabong! And uh, I've never seen them, I've only seen the one. Because there's one of them down over. Uh, is it over here? Right there, is it? Like right, 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 right through here? Yeah. Hey, I, I got one headshot on him, okay? It was an impressive. I had a, uh, a friend of mine earlier send a message with uh, in Dutch. I've seen the the apparition right here. Also the weird ectoplasm that's kind of seeping out of the. It's kind of creepy, dude. It's a little bit spook town. I had a friend send me a Dutch, well not me. Sent just in uh, in the Discord a uh, a message. A sentence of the utmost importance in, uh, in Dutch. And it made me realize that uh, Dutch, written Dutch, is just English with a Dutch accent. Because I was able to read it pretty well. I know nothing of Dutch. Like, nothing. Um, but I, like, I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, no, this, this just looks like somebody's, like... Saying English, but with the Dutch accent. It's, uh... I, I probably couldn't pronounce, like, any of the words. And I wasn't able to completely parse it. But I was able to get most of it. And I'm like, huh. You know, I did pretty good for uh, for somebody who's never read Dutch before. It was, uh... <clears throat> it was a fun experience. Languages are cool, though. Languages are cool how different they are while still being like the same you know it's not bad that Dutch is just English with a Dutch accent it's true for a lot of languages English is just Dutch with an English accent if you look at it from the other perspective you know who's to say what the the right one is Latin perhaps could uh, could be argued hello you could argue that uh, Latin might be the 
the progenitor of, uh, of, of language. It's not. But you, you could argue that it's at least like, I don't know, kind of one of the, the primary, you, go. you know, building blocks, foundations of, uh, Kill that cat. you know, the Latin languages <laughs> anyway. And you would be right, because they're Latin languages. It's kind of, you know, right there in the name. It's kind of right there, you know. I got, uh... I have no idea where I was going with that. Yeah, it reminds me, actually, I was, I was talking earlier, and I was, I, I, was, I, was, I was crazy earlier. So I, 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 I have no idea what happened. But I just... All of a sudden, I had to type in the in the Discord server. I had to type, "It's January, though." No idea why. I, I have no idea why. And I typed it, and then like after I typed it, like Discord, the whole Discord just like changed in my in my head. Like it didn't actually change on my screen. I don't think it might have. Who might have say? Um, like my my perception of it just changed, and I'm like, I have no idea. Why I all of a sudden felt the urge to, to say that it's January though. I, I feel like I was like talking to somebody or something. I feel like I was talking to somebody and like I, I was saying it's January though and they were saying it wasn't or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I said it's January though and then I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Why the heck am I saying this? What the heck happened? Like, where have I been the last, like, five minutes? What what just this happened? It, it had me very confused and very concerned. Schizophrenia? <laughs> Probably not. But, uh, something like that. Maybe. Some kind of mental uh, instability. It hasn't happened to me before. I'm not worried about it, really. If it, if it starts happening, you know, like constantly, then then I'll, I'll be concerned. But, you know, for, for it to happen once in your life, I don't know, maybe I was tired. Maybe I was uh, daydreaming or something. But, yeah, like, I just, like, I sent the message, it's January, though. <laughs> and then I just, like, woke up from my dream. And I'm like, what the heck just happened? I have no idea what I was saying, or why I was saying it, or, like, what conversation I was having, or, like, anything. It was just... Just like snap back to reality all of a sudden. It was it was very confusing. Very confusing indeed. It's like just I immediately forgot everything I was doing. It had me, it had, it had me concerned at the time, but like it didn't continue happening, and I don't think it's gonna happen again. At least not anytime soon. Hold up. Uh, one of the people in the Discord just said somebody only good you super. So I just have to <clears throat> just have to point that out there. It's a little, uh, it's a little insulting, you know. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying, okay. Just saying. One of my, uh, one of my closest friends, my most loved confidants, says that somebody not me. Is the only good YouTuber. I'm just, I'm just saying it's a bit of a betrayal of the, the trust, of the relationship we've built over the years. We've been friends. I thought, I thought better of her, but she is, uh, she has sorely let me down. I'm kidding, of course. I don't expect my friends to necessarily watch my videos. I don't even tell most of them, honestly. Crazy as it might be, I talk about it all the time. To, to anybody who watches this probably hears me talk about my YouTube channel all the time. So it's, it's probably insane that um, I'm saying I don't really tell people. <laughs> but, like, I actually just don't. Who is this mysterious marksman? It's, uh, it's, it's a very small group of people that I actually talk to about it. There's very few people in this world who I actually, like, feel comfortable with talking about... Uh, the more, I don't know, like, I, I kind of view YouTube as, as being sort of a more private-y kind of thing. You know? It's not really something that I want, uh, everybody watching. It's not like I don't want them watching it. It's just like I don't want everybody watching it either. You know, it's kind of an indifference towards it. So with most people, I just, like, I don't care to tell them. Like, and they're not going to care to watch it either, so there's, like, no point. 
But I don't really care if my uh, if my friends are watching it or not. I'm not actually offended. But it, it's it's kind of a moment when 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 you you know you're obligated to to make some kind of a some kind of a response to it to something like that. You know, you're obligated to to make something a little, a little bit uh, sassy, a little bit you know abrasive in nature. It's an obligation you have as a friend. And I, uh, I fulfill that obligation loyally, consistently. Hans, did we get Hans last time too? No, we got uh, we got the King Flash Pound last one, right? No, we got Hans and then the King Flash Pound. It's gonna go the same way. Perhaps I don't know. Oh, you shouldn't have bought. You shouldn't have fell down, dude. I like SWAT against Hans, honestly, because uh, I feel like it's better. But, you know, Gunslinger. You see, you see the, the sheer damage that we're dishing out? It's like nothing, dude. It's nothing. <laughs> Did you, I hope you guys... I don't know how loud the, the, the game noises are. But you you should go back and listen to that with your volume way up if you couldn't hear it because he just like got yeeted and it was like glug, 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 glug. it was <laughs> what the heck it was pretty good it was pretty it was pretty good just make sure you turn your volume back down before you know my voice comes back on and kills your ears because that that won't be very pleasant but you need to listen to that that was hilarious you guys have um hair ties this guy got super long hair. It's, you know, my, my hair gets measured in feet, you know? Like, it's it's probably like two and a half feet long. So it's, it's, it's quite long hair. Uh, so I have hair ties kind of everywhere, you know? Um, and uh, on occasion, you know, you, you just see a hair tie, you pick it up, and you just, like, put it onto your wrist. It's like, it's like so second nature, just the natural thing to do when you have super long hair and you keep hair ties on you. I don't know why, but I just, uh, like, I just saw it on my desk just now. That, that's that little crinkling that you, you heard. I just I saw it on my desk, and I, I picked up the, the hair tie, and it was on, like, a piece of plastic or something. Um, and uh, I pick up the hair tie, and now it's now it's my hair tie. It's on my wrist. I don't know why, but it was, it was just, like, this is what I this is what I do in this moment. Just, just a very habitual thing. And uh, you get to fiddle, you get to fidget with it when it's on there, you know? It's kind of fun to uh, take the hair tie and kind of like, I don't know, I kind of like stretch it around and fiddle with it, snap it at my wrist. It's not like, it's not, uh, they're not like elastic -y enough to cause lasting pain. When you snap them on your wrist, it's it's like enough to be like a, a small little like sting. And I don't know why, but sometimes I just find that sting really pleasant. And it's not in like a, you know depression, self harm kind of way, because like you know it's like just a little snap, you know. But sometimes I just find that snap to be uh, strangely addictive. Because it doesn't really hurt. Like it, I, it's not. It doesn't hurt anymore. You know. Like it, there, there isn't enough force behind it to actually cause any harm. I mean, if I were to continue, like, you know, snapping it, I might uh, go red, have a, some kind of rash or something. You know, might might end up injuring myself if I were to like continue doing it over and over again for like a while. But like, I just don't. I don't know why. But uh, whenever whenever I end up picking one up, I always end up like snapping it. The scary thing is, the scariest things with hair ties is when you're like putting your hair out and the hair tie itself just like snaps because it uh, can't hold all your immense amount of hair in. Oh, that, that's terrifying because it's just this like, it's like right by your ears when it happens and it just like snaps and sometimes it'll like snap into you and you're not expecting it, you're just putting your hair up. Oh, it's a terrifying thing. Yeah, it doesn't happen often. My, my, I, I typically, you know, you can see the hair tie start to fray. You know, usually before it snaps. It's not like, uh, typically it's going to be like a, a new hair tie snaps on your hair. You'll, you'll, you'll feel like the limits of it and not push it too far, right? 
Um, but sometimes, you know, it, it, it does. Doesn't happen often though. But uh, it's not a very pleasant experience anyway. Typically, you know, once I start seeing that fray on the, it's usually like uh, the hair ties. They have these like little metal bits where the elastic kind of gets like glued back together. Cause it's it's like it's just a long elastic, right? And it gets uh, like chopped up into strips, and then twisted over itself, and and like the the ends get glued together, and you make a circle, right? Um, typically, it's like right at that part that it starts to like pull apart, if it's even gonna. Um, and uh, you know, once once you start seeing that, you just toss it, and uh, you 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 know you're good to go. You don't have to, to worry about snapping into face, but sometimes all you have is a frayed tie, and it's like ah, like I have to put my hair up. It's it's not it's not optional. The hair has to go up, and all I have is a tie with a bit of fray in it, or uh, or you'll have to, you know you'll be able to buy some new hair ties or something, and it'll be a little bit too small or a little bit too la like not elasticy enough, and uh, you know you're kind of expecting them to be a little bit better, so you kind of go at it hard, and it's just like snap. <laughs> and it's terrifying. Terrifying. But anyway, yeah, I just like fiddle with them. I don't know why. It's just a habitual thing. I see a hair tie. I put it on my wrist. I have a hair tie on my wrist. I start snapping it. I don't know why. It's just, uh, it's just what I do. It's who I am. If you can't handle me at my snappiest, you don't deserve me at my... I don't know. I'm trying to think of a something that rhymes with snappiest. That's uh, I don't know. Okay, okay. If you don't, if you can't, if you can't handle me at my snappiest, you don't deserve me at my sassiest. Is it both bad? You say? Yeah, I mean, perhaps. But there's somebody out there who loves it, right? There's somebody out there. And they'll be like, hey, maybe you should stop snapping that hair tie onto your wrist. You're going to hurt yourself. And I'm like, yeah, you see my wrist right here? You see these nothings? Because, like, it's just a hair tie, bro. Like, I can't stay together with you. I just, the snaps, it's just too much. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's a very satisfying uh, pain, though, in a, in a weird way. With, with, like, some, 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 some hair ties are, like, painful <laughs> like actually genuinely painful uh, don't recommend but uh, at least the ones that I have with the size of my wrists they just kind of they fit together nicely to make a, a very satisfying like snap sound and then like a, like a little sting and uh, I don't know why but I like it I do not know why But if I do it too much, it'll hurt anyway, because, like, it is snapping an elastic band on my wrist. No matter how much I want to say it doesn't hurt, it, you know, there is uh, a certain degree of, uh, you know, physical damage associated with it, just, like, infinitesimally small, you know? So I can't do it too much. I don't know though. Maybe, maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm a maybe I'm a weirdo because I like snapping elastic bands on me. I always liked it since I was a kid, you know. We have like elastic bands and stuff, and people would be like, uh, "Hey, snap this on yourself." I'm like, "All right, <laughs> okay, sure." Doesn't sound bad at all. And you know, sometimes they get like super stupid bands, and it would like super hurt, and I'd be like, "Ah, uh, no, thank you." Mm, just gonna just gonna pass on that one but uh, you know sometimes you get uh, you get a nice band and it just uh, I think it's mostly the sound of it that's uh, that's satisfying to me more so than the pain but the sound and the pain kind of go together so I've kind of like Pavlov's myself into or is it Pavlov's I don't know kind of like uh, socially engineered or like mechanically <laughs> I don't know uh, you know myself into Associating the pain with goodness, but I, I think it's mostly just the sound that's, uh, that's very satisfying to me. It's that 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 that, uh, that resounding like snap. 
I don't know if I don't know if you guys can hear it, but like it's just it's such a it's such a satisfying snap, you know. I really like it. I like hearing it. And I think the pain, the the like and the pain part of it is is just uh, conditioned from 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 liking the sound that uh, is associated with it more so than actually liking the pain itself. So I'm not particularly fond of pain so much. And it's not even much pain anyway, so maybe, maybe I do like pain. I don't know. It's weird though. It's weird, but I, I can't I can't change what I like, okay? Just uh, fret not, it's not a self-harm thing. Certainly not. My wrist isn't even red. And I've been I've been snapping it like a mad woman. Okay? This whole time I've been snapping it because I wanna show off that snappy sound. Not, it's not even red, you know. Like it, it, it's not even sore, or like anything. It's not. It's not self harm. This guy's got a long ways to go before it's uh, even close to anything that could be considered self harm. It's just. It's just a very satisfying thing. Whenever I find uh, a little hair tie, or whenever I end up seeing it or noticing it or whatever, I always end up putting it on my wrist and snapping away. Speaking of snaps, you guys know how to like snap your fingers. Can you do that? A lot of people can't. I, mean, I think there's um, there are like three things that are pretty hit or miss with people. You know, like three things that that people often can do or, or can't do, and it's you know you typically and and everybody's like you can't do that. Like that's such a simple. You can't even do that, and it's um, rolling your R's. Uh, snapping and whistling. Um, you know, people there's there's people out there who can't do those, right? Like they can't they can't snap their fingers. They can't and uh, they can't uh, roll their R's. You know, uh, I can do all of them, obviously. But uh, it's always neat seeing how some people can't do it. You know. It's a learnable skill. If you can't do it, you can learn. Okay, I'm not gonna be the person who's like, "Oh, it's really simple. Like you just have to like twist your tongue around and then blow." You know, I'm not gonna be that kind of person. But if you if you practice, you can do it. I'm not gonna pretend to understand. I know how you, you know, perceive the inside of your mouth. But um, they are they are learnable skills. It's not like it's a physical thing that you can't do it for sure. I I can. Say that with 100% confidence. I like whistling though. Whistling is uh, a very satisfying thing for me. I can uh, I can do the the whistling in in and in and out like for the for the first half of that I was blowing out, and then for the second half I was blowing in. You might be able to see the difference or hear the difference. I was like sucking in, so I was breathing fairly normally while I was whistling there. Oh, did I crash? No. A lot of people can't do that too, but uh, I find it pretty simple. People are like, "Oh, you just have to like reverse your tongue or whatever." I'm like, "I don't know." Like you just breathe in or breathe out. You know, if you got the whistle down, you just do it. I don't really change anything. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I don't change anything. I don't. I don't, I don't do anything. You know. Anyway. Um. Weird episode. But uh, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye. -bye, -bye.